Hey guys, today we're going to talk about zip files. What is a zip file? How can we create a zip file? And how can we open zip files? So let's get started. Well, first of all, what is a zip file? A zip file is a collection of one or more files, individual files, that are compressed down and made into a single file. Why would you want to do this? Let's imagine that we wanted to send a friend 50 of our family photos. Normally, we would have to send each file or photo individually to that friend, and that could be real time consuming. If we were to first select all those photos that we wanted to send, create a single zip file, we can then send that single file to our friend. Once they got it, they could unzip it and that would reveal all the photos that we sent them. So it's a big time saver as well as it manages them into one chunk rather than a whole bunch of them. Now you can add other types of files besides photos. You can send documents, music, um, as well as photos and you can mix and match them within a single zip file. Another plus about zipping things is it often compresses or makes the file smaller than all the individual files put together. It takes out all the unnecessary space as it's zipped and then once it's set and unzipped then it returns back to normal. So let's go to my computer and I'll show you how to make a zip and then I'll show you to how to unzip it. So let's get started with that. Now there are other types of compression software. I just wanted you to be aware. Zip is just one type. There's also such things as RAR and TAR. We're not going to cover those. Now zips have been around for quite a while and it all started with a program called PKZip. And since then, Windows has even incorporated it into their software, so there's nothing to download to use Zips. We can actually just use it from our Windows machine. I am here in my samples picture folder, and I would like to show you how I could collect these photos and make them into a single zip file. First of all, you can go ahead and select the files that you'd like to have contained in the zip. Now I like to just hold down my left mouse button and draw a square around the files that you want to select. You can also hold down the control key and select each file that you would like to include in the zip. Okay, now that I've got my eight files selected, I can go up to any one of the selected files and use my right hand mouse button and I want to pull down to send to and then choose compressed zip folder here. Left click on it. The files are now preparing to zip and you can see it, it made a folder here with a zipper on it and it's asking me to name the file. So let's just call this test zip zip and enter. Okay, it's that simple. This is the file that I could send to my friend. And it's also useful if you wanted to save this to a flash drive or CD or DVD because it is compressed and smaller and more easily managed. Now if we double click on this zip test folder that we made, you can see that you can actually see the files that are contained within the zip file. Now sometimes you can go ahead and open up the files right from here but generally speaking you must first unzip the folder let's go ahead and go back and i'll show you how to do that so let's say that we this is the file that we sent our friend this test zip once your friend gets it and downloads it they can just simply right click on the folder that's a zip and choose extract all left click they can select their de destination and file name if they would like to. I'm just going to go ahead and keep the defaults and hit extract. And there they are. It has extracted that zip folder and here are the eight photos that I sent my friend. Let's close that and we can see that it has also made a folder that is now on zip called test zip. So it's that easy. 
Um, if you'd like to make your own zips, give it a try. It's pretty useful. Hope you got some use out of it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.